Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, like I'll show you in a short previous, the FPS software high speed gears. We're gonna do a in brief review about it. And what's better than having a new type generation 12 to one gear set. Besides the currently most used 12.1 upgrade gear set of SHS 12 to ones. We're gonna compare them, we're gonna measure them, weigh them, do a couple of things, close up. Now, first of all, this to the side, we're focusing on this. Italian company, FPS Software, the owner Luca, I have contact with them already for a couple of years, since 2020 actually. And he mostly deals in compression parts, but now since like half a year, almost a year, his bring up of he showed his first um, AG gear set, just for the V2, V3 mostly, V6 also possible, but not for like the regular stuff. And one thing that's really yeah, cool about it is that the sector gear is different. This is not CNC machined that much. It's mostly cast, but from an any DM material, so it's harder, tougher, and with a great detail for quality quality control. Like for say, these are good, but like on the twenty ish, fifteen ish sets, you will find faults, things that actually should not pass production mark and also not be sold for the price point that SHS goes for. Funny is the, these are from before 2021 because nowadays this is stripped or there's a sticker that says made in China because yeah, Hong Kong doesn't exist by China anymore. Back to this. The packaging, there are two options in this, 12.1 or the 13.1. Here I have 12.1, says it's actually at back 12.1. MHRM technology, that's material or the yeah, legal substance of the metal. You get a full uh, gear set, it's protected in this packaging, and you get two sector delayers because in Italy they use a lot of uh, GNG ETUs. And when they have some kind of lack of feeding, they mostly throw in one of these bad boys. And those are in the carbon material now in its best line of products, the Zero Shock carbon material. So it should be tough, tougher than regular plastic. So, without further ado, Let's unbox it. Now you got this, this. You got some information from Luca, always handy. Okay, first of all, the one that stands out the most is the sector gear because it's not fully rounded or complete like two parts of CNC machine gears. Mostly nine of ten gears that are machined. There are two parts that are linked together with screws like on SHS this is one full piece it only has uh, the notch for the tapper plates and the axle that is hired up with bronze or copper as protection okay cool spur gear yeah this is the 12.1 so the teeth are thicker wider from each other than 13.1 got the size there's actually something that i found remarkable that a company that sets up its own gears goes directly for high speed gears mostly because everybody uses of every gun comes stuck with 18.1 you should assume yeah let's start with 18.1 and build on that recipe to uh, a bigger assortment so that's cool um it's not completely full because there are cuts out. I've seen the molds on his Facebook page of these and they're a perfect example of what happens. Like you got two molds going to each other, get filled with liquid material or hot material. And then you get one of these bad boys. And I think after that they're hardened in some way, coated. The bearing is full. I think it's the axle is put in it and it's, it's just open because it's the axle is a different material than the gear itself 
Okay, next up. Bevel gear, 10 teeth. It would be nice to see if they maybe make also a 9 teeth for like high stress build, but I need to keep in mind this is made for the Italian market and they have the one jewel limit, so even not one jewel, 0 0.98. Also same thing, cast, really good details because normally when you have cast you always find little rims or little sharp edges. So I might assume they're polished and after that they are coated in some way. Okay. Hmm, this one comes harder out. So far the packaging. So you got a regular size sector delayer chip and you got, a, he calls it speedy one. But yeah, mostly if you want more speed, you don't use these. So that's a fun thing, but hey, if you don't have a gate titan, pure MOSFET of Leviathan, then you're stuck sometimes with um, one of these in your gun to get rid of some issues. And I think especially in Italy, because yeah, like for say in the north, they're really rich and in the south, they have to look at money-wise more. So yeah, cool. They also injection molding because you see the, the punch out, the punch out marks from the mold. Okay, cool. Now, here we got them. Not a single spot on them that I would say like, hey, there's a scratch or there's something going wrong. So really nice, good details. Quality control is really up there. Hopefully it stays up there because that's a lot of times when companies come out with uh, new products, the first line is perfect. They're spotless because they need to sell stuff and they want to trust to get the trust out of the people. And after that, you get less, 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 less. Same thing for SHS. Nowadays they really, yeah, they're spot on or they're bad as fuck. Like for say, um, great example for this one. This one has a quality problem and that's the lower part of the spur gear is machined. So the teeth are nicely left and right sided uh, angled so that they are not sharp, but the inside of the bevel is forgotten. So it's straight. This is sharp, this will also make noise. Yeah, and that's for a gear set that goes in the Netherlands for 25 euros, even more. That's a bomber when you get this. If you see the difference on camera, this one is still not machined. This one is, so the teeth also got lower edges, yeah. If I say weight-wise, this one is lighter. And that's funny because this is CNC that should normally be lighter and this one is mold. Next, the most remarkable things. Okay. So the SSS has some cutouts of some cylinder also get some weight off. And of course, the FPS software has uh, a lot smaller overall rounds because this is the bottom. Really cool. So. Also, same thing for the bevel gear, it's also not machined. This should be a little bit lower. Okay, that's not cool. Luckily, the SHS gear set I got for free, so yeah. If you also see on the FPS software, we've got uh, wider depths for the anti reversal latch than here. So overall, when you get used to this, this will go on longer than this because at some point it will be too narrow and the anti-reverse latch won't catch on it again. It's actually also sharp. 
this one's completely smooth rounded even i would say even a baby can play with this or baby skin can touch this yeah that's just one small thing to say like made in hong kong nowadays china made in italy what would you prefer next on we're gonna do the weights because all small details matter and the higher the weight of the gears the small the slower they will come up to speed and turn and everything yada 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 sector gear keep in mind it's just a regular scale from my mom but it's just like a what weighs more what weighs less exactly like to the hundreds of a gram i'm not going to search for as it has 27 grams and that's uh, kilograms so for all my american friends uh, you need to make that calculation to a grain ounce it should be almost one ounce i think okay fps software five grams difference five grams so you got already something that is on one of the three pieces five grams lighter so this will probably spin faster that's less material on this side equal speed the bevel gear 24 grams from the shs fp software 20 four grams we're already seven grams off uh, make it quick and snappy shs bevel gear 18 grams fps software 16 too so in total it's almost nine grams lighter give or take 10 maybe if i got a real good scale okay compatibility wise i haven't heard about yet anything from fps software or look at itself like a hey, these gear sets won't work or fit in this type of gearbox so i really think he did his q a and his uh, r d very well keep in mind this also from basic supplies tool it's not me a total but we can get some kind of idea so to fairly measure this i will measure one point to the other to get an idea bear in mind with these numbers every batch will vary of every product on everything that's made on earth nothing will be perfect the same but we always always try to be close now 31.44 31.51 so zeros of six millimeters yeah that's doable especially when you have different pistons that vary in height bevel gear of the shs 32.63 these are all millimeters 32.43 okay SHS bevel gear 24.16 and the uh, 9.43. Okay, cool. Close. This is a little bit thicker, but the difference will be that. This is a little bit more narrow than that one, but this is a little bit wider. So combining those two, there won't be a problem. So. So far. The sticker price for these gears go around 40 euros in Europe mostly all stores even fps software has the 40 euro mark at fps software these gears are not till i know now any more available i'm not sure if they're gonna make more batch because this is a lot of intense labor and time and a lot of quality control checks like i said like these ones are not finished correctly and in China or Hong Kong or whatever, yeah, they're like, okay, throw it in the box, ship it, because 
it will already be gone back then. This is a new starting thing, so this has to be on point. Maybe this year there will be no new batches, but most of them are scattered out in Europe now. Some shops still still carry them, so if you want these, you need to sort them out. My final thoughts. I think these are better. Just on the way, like how they're built and that they have some more care. It doesn't have to be like this metal of the SSS could be stronger. I'm not sure. I've used it in the 1.2 dual build. Still runs, still works. I also got 13.1 delivered soon. You can short stoke this and go to mental until you break them. Sure. Yeah. I've seen on the internet most videos that dudes from Medley are rocking these. Even with the full stroke sector still on, still intact because Italians like to take away three or four T's. You get around 30 RPS, so that's actually what you want with 12 or 13 to 1s because when you do that with an SHS, it's give or take. If they run smooth and run good and got the QA on top of everything good, then you maybe get to the 30, 33. This will get you to the 30 mark, easy. 16 TPA motor, good battery, easy. I saw Luca had it, had the 13.1 installed on his GNG Firehawk stock motor, 30 RPS. Really cool. So, if you want to ask something extra, leave it down in the comment, let me know. It's always fun to get in the conversation and react to what your thoughts are on these subjects. This is a long video, sorry for that, I want to make it shorter. But like always, keep going to the field, keep wondering about parts, keep tacking, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.